because I started opening up, up a lot more to you guys the moment that I saw so many comments of people being like, how are you always so positive? How are you always so happy? Your life is so perfect. I guess I just wanted to film this video and show this to you guys just to show you that like, I'm a real person. <sighs> it's currently 10 p.m. I have had a full day of work and my life is a mess. <laughs> Look at all these papers. This has not been easy in any way, and this has like, I don't even know if we could say it's made it worse. My brain's honestly just in this rumble jumbled mess of like, not even confused about like the things that like have gone on, but just like confused at like what's happening to me right now, when this started. Like, I don't want to say that I've had OCD because I've never been like tested or diagnosed for it, but even from when I was a little kid, I was like, what, two years old? I literally lined up all these red chairs perfectly, and I put a red ball, or a yellow ball, whatever color ball, perfectly on it. Or we had the, like, nesting boxes that, like, you use for kids when you want to teach them, like, numbers or something, and, like, they all stack into one, right? I used to love those. I used to love just, like, smashing them all in. Ugh. Literally made me so happy. Anyways, ever since I was little, I was always always had this like OCD in a sense OCD tendencies I guess we could say but lately it's been so bad here's an example so my mom my wonderful mom was helping me write out all the videos write out all the plans and everything right and she put two because I told her I want to post my goals to finish 36 videos and I'll post two a month right so she put two in between so we could do that right but then she had one somewhere Maybe it's on the other side. So I had it in a certain way where it was like July and then all the days, August, all the days, September, all the days, right? And then my mom put November and then one and then two for December, right? Just because there wasn't space. And it drove me so crazy. Not that she had done it, but like I was trying to do with what she was saying and like put one next to November and then put one under the November. I couldn't function. I could not in any way write it down. I couldn't think of what to do that was just bothering me. I just, the only thing I could think of was, no, like it needs to be this way, it needs to be this way, this isn't making it look good, this doesn't look even, this doesn't look perfect. And it was actually like, oh, I couldn't even, I can't handle it. Like, I explain it as the pain, the, the um, discomfort, I guess, comes from my back and makes me just go like this and stuff. So you'll see me, you actually would never see me, but like, I tend to like go like this or like, and I like hold my neck because it just is like driving me crazy. So that's what, what ha was happening today. It's been a rough day. I was, I just called Reese earlier because I was crying because I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. I felt like just such a failure, right? No one's making me feel like a failure. This is all my own doing, of course. Um, but there were, like I've been spending so long in, in this area in my, room that I'm like oh Clay like you need to go get out of the room you need to go hang out with your family you need to go hang out with people you need to socialize because you're like you're hiding yourself and you need to stop doing that that's not good you need to go and be better and spend more time with your family so I go out and I try spending more time with my family and I end up snapping at someone for no good reason or I end up doing something where I feel like I have failed basically I feel like I did something wrong or I I I made someone unhappy and then I feel like I'm such a failure. I didn't do this. I I was wrong. I made a wrong decision. It's all that stuff. So I get super hard on myself. So I then get really upset, you know, or I'm not making people happy. There's just all these negative thoughts in my mind and I'm trying really hard to figure out how to get over it. I need to I need to have more faith. I think I'm building up so much stress because of everything I'm doing right now. All the videos I'm trying to film, everything trying to make it all perfect and and make it all prepared and ready so that like when I leave it's good and it's fine it's it's ready and okay for me to be able to leave it but in that I'm not having faith and I'm not trusting in the Lord and trusting in his timing trusting in his path that everything's gonna work out the way it needs to because maybe in doing this I'm actually hurting myself so much more and opening up a door that I could be less happy in, if that makes sense so I think what I want to do is I just am going to film these last videos. It's a long list, so I just, I, I, I want to do this, but let's see, let's look at my timing. 13 videos to film in two and a half weeks. If 
if I film two to three a day, I should get done with that beforehand. So, anyways, I just, I need to figure out, I need to love myself for how I am. I'm always looking to be the best of the best, right? If there's a to-do list I have and there's an accomplishment I need to make, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it even better than that, right? But to the point that, like, that's good. That can be a good thing, but I've gotten it to the point where it's like, I'm tying my value and my worth to how great I can be with YouTube or how great I can look and accomplish all these things, which is not, not what I'm wanting to go in for. And so I'm trying to really think of how I can adjust that because it's, oh, it's so hard. Do you guys ever have that happen? Like, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, does this like kind of stuff happen to you? I guess I just wanted to film this video and show this to you guys just to show you that like, I'm a real person kind of, this is like a, basically a behind the scenes of what happened. Like what you guys have seen over the last year and a half. It's crazy to think that like, I think by the time this comes out, I'll be heading home eventually soon. Eventually, obviously eventually, but like, yeah, I'll be heading home if not home already. So that's crazy. I guess this will be cool to look back for myself to see like how much I've grown since then. Hopefully I will not be having these struggles, but I don't know. I'm human too, y'all. I've noticed I started opening up a lot more to you guys. The moment that I saw so many comments of people being like, how are you always so positive? How are you always so happy? Your life is so perfect. Because I was like, wait a second, no it's not. And then also people were saying stuff like, you don't show us very much of your life, like we're only getting a little bit, which that of course is like my decision on how much I want to show you guys. And I've decided to show you guys a little bit more. But just know, just know that I struggle too. I'm in this wonderful path, just like you guys are, and I'm working to try and, you know, figure out life, so. But if you guys are struggling with this, some tips that I kind of have that I'm working on with myself is creating a to-do list, reward yourself afterwards. Take breaks every once in a while. Maybe a gratitude journal. My mom was actually telling me, she said that her sister would write out everything she accomplished in the day. Even if it was, I drank this much water today, or I helped somebody read for 10 minutes, right? because it shows you everything you actually did. Which, in fact, actually, I want to do that right now before I sign off. We're gonna write out everything that I did today. So I can feel a little bit better about myself because I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are super puffy and I actually don't know what that is right there. It's like, I don't even know. It's my little, like, kiss on the fore cheek, the bone. I don't know what it's called, anyways. We're gonna write some stuff down. My hand is getting tired. I've written, written some things and I've got 13 plus things that I did today. And these were actually pretty big things. These weren't even small things like, I don't know what you'd consider small or bigger, but this actually helps me a lot. Makes me realize like, wow Clay, like you actually did a ton of things today. You know, I think I'm probably gonna actually make this a part of my routine now, is doing this like at the end of the day, because it really, really helps me. Because I've now that I like look back on it, I've noticed that I never look at the good and positive things that I accomplished in the day, just the things that need to be done. And all my days are kind of going by and I don't remember anything that's happening except that I'm working, because that's the only thing that I put on my to-do list. I'm like having this realization while I'm talking to you guys, but I think that that's a really big thing. Gratitude journals in the morning or in the daytime when you're struggling, but then also writing out all of your accomplishments. Because then I realize like what I did today, more than like when people ask me what I'm, what I'm up to today, all I say is I'm working. Because that's what it looks like to me is I'm just working. But I think I need to really find like good things and fun things in the work or during my day without just working so that I don't become this like crazy workaholic that's just working 24 seven. Well, I guess we're both, we're all learning together. So I definitely needed this probably more than you guys did, but I hope you guys got something out of this and you enjoyed this. And please, if you have any tips for me, please let me know. Please give me all the tips because I always love hearing from you guys and I do listen to what you guys are saying and I do put into consideration what you guys are commenting. So it is very helpful for me, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Pray for my soul. <laughs>